take and get this flipped around here. Now take and knock it down in the bones a little bit here. This is one of those cheap vices. I kind of reworked it, but it's just handy to slap down on the table and do a couple things. Like this. edge cleaned off. So it's uh, it's cool again, and that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's clean it up nice. Okay. Okay, it's 
Sit the other way. Hey, I'm going to switch from this uh, old uh, roughing end mill that I've been keep cutting back here. I'll, I'll sharpen this on the cutter grinder. It's really quite easy on on the uh, on the end here. There's just two angles, and uh, I'll, I'll do that. This one's starting to get a little bit dull, so I'll be doing that pretty soon. But I. Uh, I shifted to a fly cutter, about the only one I could find that um, I have adapted to the uh, this spindle here, and I'm going to clean up this uh, this face here. But I think I better change my camera battery. I'll do that first. Hey, I'm going to um, make a plate here out of brass. Put a small hole in it. Um, for um, threading very th um, small diameter long screws. We just want to give it a good shot anyway. And um, that'll attach to the shoe that goes here that I have <laughs> in here that I'm smoothing out so I can attach that uh, brass plate to. And I got it uh, kicked up about a thousand RPMs here. So we'll uh, fire it up. Looks like everything's in gear. Whoop. What's that? Oh. I wonder what that is. For some reason it didn't want to go. Oh, I know what it is. Now this is something that is weird with the uh, American rotor fit, American rotary. Is uh, there's always power going through the thing. So I forgot to turn it on and the motor buzzed because it was single phase. Okay, so <laughs> that's something to keep in mind in case you uh, like hit a switch uh, like the old time uh, drum switch and you don't know it or something like that. Okay, so we'll kick it on. It's okay. 
smooth enough. Okay, I'll do the flip over. Get that snugged in there. This is one of those cheap vices that I kind of reworked. That's good. I'm just going to drop it another 10,000 and clean up that side. Right about there. This old time stuff here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fire it up. Where do I want to start from? I think I'll. A little bit that way. Okay. Hope you're all doing good today. Oh, I'm going to have to go deeper. Show you what side that's going. To, I, I like that right there because it's going against uh, rough casting. I don't think I need to clean this side up. So there we go. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fine. And the uh. uh Kind of had it backwards where I was thinking, but it doesn't matter. Now, see, I got to put the plate on this side here. Okay.
little tool here in the cutter grinder. Let's get a little uh, quick grind. It's uh, an old screw machine tool that I salvaged. I don't think I better have that touch the machine. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get. Let's just have this in there. There we go. I think that's good. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to grind just the tip of it. I can't see it, but it goes from the end. There we go. That's all I need to do. Okay. Okay, I took this old screw machine tool here that I salvaged. So I'm going to use it uh, to cut with a follow rouse. And uh, I just went across it and, and uh, changed the angles on there. Gave it a few degrees back rake and side rake. And I'm going to just touch it up with this uh, easy lap stone here. Right on the edge there. Oh, that looks good. Feels good too. I can feel it. Just, it's going to cut from this side, so I just kind of roll it into that diamond just slightly, and you can feel it. That easy. That's carbide. Now I'm going to get a little bit of a radius here. I go from this direction. Okay. Set this here. Is it sharp? Oh, it's very sharp. See, it shaves thumbnail. Very sharp. Okay, over to the way. Okay, using a, an old height gauge here to set the uh, tool height, which is a little more difficult in this situation. Okay, works real good. So I'm going to get that over there. I'm going to start taking a couple of cuts on this uh, 3 8 one drill rod. Okay, I got this thing running in reverse. Uh, oil it up. Okay, I'm going to give this uh, follow rest uh, a test here. I just got the, uh, this is a piece of oil hardening drill rod and I'm just using the plain cast iron, um, I guess pad, whatever that is. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a, give that a shot, um, just under 3,000 speed and, um, 849 RPMs. Get down here and find a I got the tool just under the, uh, let's see if I can get you pretty close to that action. I got the tool just under. I'm going to touch it off. I think I'm there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take 10 off the diameter. Let's see if it does it. Not sure which way I'm going up. Make sure I got some oil on this. Well, it's definitely taking a cut there.
It's looking pretty good. That's a Mike Pro 100 tool. Now, of course, to make, make the next pass, I'll have to adjust that jaw in a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be great. And if I got a little bit of taper, I have to adjust the tailstock. Okay. Well, I'm going to call that a working deal. And I'm going to be able to attach pieces to this side of the plate um, for smaller pieces and use it like this for pieces larger than this too. It's going to be a very handy thing having this uh, um, follow rest working. Okay, you guys have a good afternoon. I'm going to load a video here. Okay, back here just for a minute. Uh, i got to show this off. I took, uh, it looks like I took just about 15 thousandths off this. Look at this. Now that's pretty darn good. Not fat in the middle. All right. A follow rust on an axle sign. Okay.